It's been a great 18 months for Mexico's little prince. A standout performer for club side PSV Eindhoven as they won the Eredivisie, player of the tournament as his country Mexico won the CONCACAF Gold Cup, and at the age of 29, former wonder kid Andres Guardado has now grown into the main man for his country. I think 2015, as well as the four or five months after the 2014 World Cup, were personally very good for me. I went to PSV and we had a great year in every respect. We managed to win the league after PSV had gone seven or eight years without winning anything. In Holland, I was voted the best player in the league. And then I joined up with a national team in the summer, where we won everything we took part in. I was also voted the best player there as well. So this really has been the best year of my career. It was one of the best tournaments that he's played with the national team. He was the captain, so he had extra responsibility and had to demonstrate why he was in that role. And I think he did so extremely well. He was the key to us winning the title. In 2007, a move to La Liga side Deportivo La Coruña made him the most expensive Mexican player in football history. It was a fun experience in that I had always had the dream of going to Europe. I got my hopes up about being able to go to Holland. And then suddenly we're at the negotiation stage where you have the whole yes, no, yes, no. And they practically told me that everything was confirmed. My agents rang the next day and said, I have news. Well, two bits of news. Are they both good? I asked. I don't know how you will take it, they answered. So I said, what is it? They said, it's that you're going to Europe. I said, that's great. Then they said, but the other news is, you're not going to PSV. You were going to Deportivo La Coruña. Later, I remember talking to Osvaldo Sanchez and to Rafael Marquez, who were there with the national team at the time. They asked me a very sensible question. In the long run, did you want to go to the Spanish league after the Dutch league? I said yes. They said, so just go straight there then. After a spell with Valencia, eventually Guardado did make the move to PSV, joining permanently in 2015. <laughs> It's very strange how these things have a way of working themselves out. In the end, things happen for a reason. Perhaps if I'd come to Holland back then, maybe I wouldn't have done as well as I'm doing in Holland now. The attacking midfielder is now a veteran of three World Cups, his first as a teenager in 2006. I went there wanting to learn as much as I could. I was like a sponge, wanting to absorb everything. I knew that maybe I wouldn't get to play as much as I wanted, but I also knew it would be a very positive experience for me. So I made sure I learned from everyone, from the manager, my teammates, from those more experienced. I took in the atmosphere, tried to enjoy it as much as I could. And in the end, I did get to play a few minutes in our most important game, a truly unforgettable experience. Ten years later, and he's ready to lead his country towards qualification to the FIFA World Cup in 2018. The role of being captain is not something I would naturally see on the pitch. But obviously, when you think back or when you reflect on your career, you really did dream about this moment. The great thing about football is that there are always things still to come. You always have the opportunity to set new goals. And this is where we're at now. We're at the start of the World Cup qualifiers that promise to be very interesting.